And now there is no avoiding the miserable weather at the moment. Um, it is August still. Well, it's only just August, <laughs> let's face it. But look, if you look it's at the pictures behind us here, uh, you'll just see how much this is impacting on people and summer events around the country. Uh, so that's uh, Birmingham, uh, sorry, not Birmingham, Brighton Pride taking place this weekend. Um, the um, poncho is slightly detracting from the glorious outfits. <laughs> Uh, and quite a different scene, uh, calmer maybe, but uh, no less rainy in Cambridge. Uh, tourists and visitors seemingly willing to get out on the water, uh, but determined not to get drenched. And uh, then we can see this. This is uh, the not so glorious Goodwood Racing Festival. Um, and again, um, the um, see through poncho carried off with some style, I have to say, by the women who were turning up there yesterday. But you spend months and months planning for your perfect outfit. Yeah. Um, then to have to kind of shove a big plastic bag over your head. That's why the see-through poncho is a winner. It's not really what you were planning, though, is it? At least 10 people have now died and 18 are missing after torrential rains battered Hubei province in northern China. Officials evacuated more than half its population, 11.5 million people on Saturday, from areas thought to be at high risk of landslides and floods. Unseasonable weather has also hit parts of Europe with flooding in Slovenia and Austria, with Storm Antony passing over large parts of Britain and Ireland. Our reporter Nikki Schiller has been taking a look at what's been happening on the continent. Unseasonable summer weather has hit large parts of Europe. I want to take you first to Georgia and show you some pictures there as the search for survivors continues after a deadly landslide on Thursday. You can see there a torrent of mud swept down that valley. Eleven people died and dozens are feared missing. The army has been brought in to try and help find them. The good news is that 200 people were evacuated to safety. Now, if we move to Slovenia next, there has been torrential rain there. A month's worth of rain fell in 24 hours, hitting the northeast and centre of the country. Now, three people died. There has been a meeting of the National Security Council, and afterwards, the Prime Minister said it was the worst natural disaster in Slovenia's recent history since independence over 30 years ago. He said the scale of the damage from from the floods is estimated to exceed half a billion euros and a clear-up operation is underway there. Now, Slovenia's neighbours, Austria, have also been hit by torrential rain. We can show you pictures there where there have been a large amount of saturated land and that meant that there has been flooding, people taking to boats even to be able to get evacuated out to safety and a lot of damage to residential properties and a lot of people using sandbags to try and protect them. Now, elsewhere in Europe, I want to move to Dublin in Ireland now, where there has been a rescue operation there. Again, the emergency services bringing in inflatable boats to take eight people to safety. Now, Ireland and large parts of the United Kingdom have been hit by Storm Anthony, the first named storm of the year so far in the UK and Ireland, and a number of events have been cancelled in the UK and there have been strong winds as well in parts of Wales and southwest England. Finally, I want to take you to Germany and one city there has had to bring out snow plows. Let me show you these pictures. It's because there has been a freak violent storm dumping large quantities of hail in the streets of Rutlingen. And in one case, there was 30 centimetres built up of thick, thick hail. And as you can see there, the snow plows being deployed. Not whether you would associate with summer. Now, if you thought the weather here was bad, just take a look at this. It's one city in Germany which has had to deploy snow ploughs after it was battered with hailstones, which formed into these kind of enormous, almost like snow drifts. Um, this happened in the southwest German city of Reutlingen. Look at that. They need diggers to shift it all. You'd think it would just melt, wouldn't you? Well, clearly not. If it's cold enough, it's yeah, sticking around, yeah. isn't it? That's Something, crazy. Like 250 that. firefighters had to take part to try and clear the roads. Really, it's really hard to remember that it's August. Right oh, now. I know. 
It's so, so grey and miserable and damp in most places. Now, we're going to get weather back here in a moment or two, but just take a look at these pictures from one city in Germany where they've had this almighty hailstorm. That's what that is. It looks like snow, but it's not. Um, this city was battered with these massive hailstones, which then formed these enormous, almost like snow drifts. This is the southwest German city of Reutlingen. And look, they had to bring in heavy machinery, something like 250 firefighters to try and shift the um, covering of hail that was impeding all the roads. And just a reminder, if you did need it, today's the 6th of August. August. Of August. Yes. Yeah. Um, and in fact, both of us confessed to half thinking about switching on the heating. Oh, yeah. This weekend, which is ridiculous. Is it allowed? No, really? it absolutely isn't.